Hey, everybody. It's Susan Blackwell reporting live on tape for Broadway.com at Broadway on Broadway 2009. Let's go lick some famous people. I'm here with uh, Broadway's John Stamos. How are you doing today? Good. I'm ready. I'm good. The show's up and going, and it's fantastic. Well, what are you going to be serving us today at Broadway on Broadway? Today, I'm going to introduce Ali Trim and Matt Doyle. They're singing. Uh, how, they're singing uh, One Boy. And it's so funny. I was just thinking when she sings. Um, like I, I go down and change during before Happy Face, and she sings the song over the loudspeaker, and I'm listening, and I sing along with her to work up my chords. I forget to tell her, and it's how lovely to be a woman. I'm downstairs in my dressing room saying, how lovely to be a woman. What are you doing here today? Well, I am here at Broadway, on Broadway, and it is amazing, you know? It, you know, I'm, very, I'm new here. This is my Broadway debut, so it's a whole lot of fans. <laughs> <for me. laughs> We're here at Broadway on Broadway for Broadway.com with our mayor, Mike Bloomberg. How are you today? I uh, couldn't be better. What a chance to come out on a Sunday and see all these stars and listen to some great music. 96 G's. Sing it. But it's between you and me. Esta pregunta es tricky. I know. Oh, I'm not good with the impromptu harmonies. <laughs> Cheyenne Jackson and I were back here. We were trying to conduct an interview. And um, you guys were bringing it so hard that we just had to like tap into yours and sing a little bit of that. I get in the studio. They want to hear you, not me. Get out of the body. Tell me a little bit about what you're wearing. Okay. Uh, For the fans at home. Yeah, this is my uh, my second act con uh, costume. This is um, this is the funny pants we call them. Um, they're hysterical. I actually had to shorten my balls because I would get tangled in everything. You know, the children are going to be watching this. Will you be serving us uh, just a crisp khaki? or? Yeah, we're going, I think we're going sort of um, uh, preview to fall fashions. Yeah. In Mufti. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, yeah, I wanted to wear the costume, but then I realized that was ridiculous. Uh, and so I decided to iron my khakis last night. So that. Can you picture it? Can you picture him and his boxers ironing his khakis? And I had to walk through the streets like this. Can you believe that? Did you really have to? I, well, I didn't have to. You wanted to. Wanted Admit it, Michael. To. Yeah, yeah. Was it your first Broadway on Broadway? It was, yes. And I was all alone out there without my tribe, so that was new. But um, the audience was so loving and so excited just to see all these brilliant you know, Broadway shows come out and perform. So I felt very welcome. Is this your first Broadway on Broadway? Yes, it is. You're a Broadway on Broadway virgin? Yeah, me too. You're kidding. No, they, uh, we weren't um, asked to be here during Passing Strange. Oh, they weren't down with that? Hi, I'm here with Hayden Gwynn and Tommy Bachelor from Billy Elliot. Did you guys just perform? Yep, we, we just did. Yes. How did it go? I, it, I think it went well. Yeah, it was really good. Bizarre experience because you're used to your audience being really close to you and suddenly it's all... So it's a sort of, I don't know, it's just the feel of it is completely different, but it was fun. Tell me what it's like when you're standing on that stage and you just see people, people, people all the way up Broadway. What was that like? It's really cool. It, it was kind of scary when I first saw it. Was it like a grade A freak out? Were you freaking out? Yeah. Everywhere I look, there's like famous people and I'm like, oh my gosh. Who's the most exciting famous person that you've spotted that just like, just makes you crazy? Um, Aaron that from Next to Normal. <laughs> That's an excellent answer. I really, I think he's incredible. So I was kind of starstruck when I saw him. <laughs> Did you introduce yourself? Not yet, but I plan to. I think you should. <laughs> I think you should just be brave and walk over because you're a professional Broadway actress. He is your peer and colleague. Hey. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> Ali, this is I'm Aaron. Ali, nice Ali, to nice meet you. you. How's your show going? It's really good. It's yeah. going great. Good. How about you? Great, great. I just got back to Next to Normal Monday, so. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this Broadway dreams coming true right here, live on the interweb. What are you serving us today at Broadway on the Broadway? We are doing a, a little ditty uh, called Memphis Lives in Me. It's a song that my character sings about uh, his love of Memphis and his. Uh, passion of Memphis and how Memphis affects him, the music affects him. and This should so. be a drinking game. Every time you say Memphis, Memphis. The, the folks at home have to drink. Well, yes. Well, I'm already drunk, so it doesn't even matter. It's like 11 o'clock in the morning and scoop, Chad Kimball is drunk at Broadway <laughs> on Broadway. I'm drunk on coffee and water and I'm drunk on like the excitement. There's like 200,000 people here. I can't how many thousands. Sometimes last year it was over 20,000. A Virgilian. A, uh, 
a, a what? I think the, the official, in all seriousness, the official uh, count that we got was that there is a Brazilian people. A Brazilian, yeah. Is that like a Brazilian wax? It is like that. I saw a lot of people, but I didn't know how many people it was until we got off stage. Somebody told me, like, what, like 60,000 or something? I, remember. Uh, what, I think the, the official count is a Kurgillian. Wow, okay. Yeah. It's amazing because you're standing in front of, I don't know how many thousand people, but you look straight up, Times Square. A Zerkillion, that's the official count, a Zerkillion people. A Killian! It's amazing, I mean, there's, what is it, 50,000 people are here? A Smurfillion. Really? Yeah. Do you know that 12.15 million tickets were sold on Broadway this year? That is more than all eight New York sports teams combined. Broadway is where it really is. Look at the mayor with the numbers. So I'm here with Constantine Maroulis. That's me. Here's my Constantine Maroulis information. So I'm sitting at home checking my Facebook, and Constantine friended me. And I was like, really? I friend everybody. Some people, uh, well, most people ignore me, but um, I Now I feel like your currency is devalued on Facebook. And I was like, why the f are you Facebooking me, but Constantine Maroulis? I'm a big fan of yours, that's why. Oh my god, look, he said it live on camera. Don't oh, edit that out. Don't do it. T t use some adjectives to describe my greatness. Hotness, red hair, hot yeah. stuff. Yeah. Keep going. Singing really good. Not so much. Acting even better. You're getting closer. <laughs> amazing, <laughs> amazing lady, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's for you, Mom. That's for you, Dad. I'm here with Broadway Sutton Foster. Good morning, Broadway Sutton Foster. Good morning, Susan. How Can we are? just do the whole interview like this? For the people at home who have not experienced what it's like to perform at Broadway on Broadway, can you just describe describe the scene, the smells, the sights, the sounds? I'm stuck on the smell. Yeah. <laughs> the smell? New York City. You know, occasionally get the whiff of the trash or the... A little trash, a little barbecue. Trash, a little barbecue, you know. Barbecue, you know, trash, whatnot. Yeah, I have to say it smelled nice. It smelled nice. It did. For New York, I, I thought it was nicely nice. You smell nice, Sutton Foster. I do. You too. You smell, not to plug anything, but you smell a little bit like a Veda. I love a Veda. Are you wearing a Veda right now? I am. Maybe you'll get some free stuff now. Who knows? I love a Veda. Now you're just pandering. I have a funny story. You do? Yes, you know what a bad dancer I am, right? Probably about on par with me, maybe. Yeah. So um, so I'm going into the show, and you know, going in, you don't get as much rehearsal as normal. It's, it's like, boom, you're on. So I was freaked out when they offered me. I was like, I just don't know whether I'll get the dances in time. So my whole first week, all I did was dancing. I got the dances down. Great. Good for I'm you. really comfortable doing them. But then for this, they were doing the dancing, and I had to hold a mic. And so then I was like, wait, I don't know that I'm like messing up all the steps because I'm like, okay, I switched the mic for this hand and then this hand. Mygography. P.S. Look at my eye. Did you just punch yourself in the face with the microphone? In the eye with my fake microphone. Did it, it looks like it hurt. It did, it really hurt. It's like hurt. you got yourself not with your eye shut, but with your eye open. Yeah, I was like, oh. I was like, I'm fine, I keep going, let's keep practicing. Super trooper, things are gonna fly me. I have to tell you, it's such a treat to just stand here have Beth Level sing to you, and then just like maybe make out with you. And it's Sunday morning. On a Sunday it's morning. Be a good day, huh? They're God fearing real, women. Real, real good day. Good morning. What'd you do this morning? Yes, I got up and I did this. Now she's spanking my bottom. Where are you from? I was born in Northern California. Where did you grow up? Of Oakland, but I grew up in Ohio. I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Oh my God, so am I. Where, where, where did you go to high school? West Carrollton. Oh, yes. I was the mascot for the football team. I was the mascot at my high school, too. Are you kidding me? No. Give me a white high five. What was your mascot? It was probably something cool. Pirate. We were the bees. You were probably like a sexy pirate running around. And I was dressed up like a big, fat bumblebee. Never see me again. Stay broke then. What was the first, in honor of Broadway on Broadway, what was the first Broadway show or original cast recording that rocked your ass? Uh, it was probably, it was either Guys and Dolls or Pajama Game. Uh, my dad was actually in the record business, so he he brought oh, home. That's right, that's right. Yeah, he brought home a lot of records that, I mean, from shows that didn't run very long. And I just, I'm, I love them all. I've memorized them all. Take the me along. show queen from way back. Yes, indeed. Redhead, Wildcat. 
Um, that is what I'm talking about. How about first impressions with Farley Granger and Polly Bergen, the that musical is... version of Pride and Prejudice? That's like level 17 obscure. Yes, indeed, yeah. Can you tell me, what is the first Broadway show that you ever saw or listened Miss to? Miss Saigon, and it was at the Broadway Theater. Now I'm performing on the Broadway Theater stage. Isn't that cool? So that's not a fresh question for you. No. <laughs> Canned. I remember acting out um, Secret Garden in my living room and also singing Castle on a Cloud at my kindergarten talent show. Um, Did you just rock? Did you just totally sweep the talent show? Yeah, I rocked at kindergarten. I kind of imagined that you actually did, right? Yeah, I wore a pink like princess dress that my mom made me, which is not cosette at all, but I felt like a million bucks. Did you just nail it, though? Yeah, I nailed it. That's solid. My, my brother actually played the piano for me. <laughs> Do you have tape of that? You know, I should try to find it. It'd be amazing if we could roll tape now and just cut to that. <laughs> was there a Broadway show that, you know, at any time when you were growing up, was there a Broadway show that just rocked your ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, Ben Vereen, like he was the, uh, yeah, Ben Vereen was really dope and Pippin, man, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he Did really you see it live? Me. No, I wish. No, no, no I just I watched the tapes, man. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite, obviously, Wicked. I mean, uh, a Wicked fan. Yeah. Good choice. I love it. I, love I, love it. I always loved Hairspray. I'm sorry. Hairspray, yes. You don't need to apologize for that. <laughs> no, I was just always. It's a source of conflict <laughs> in the household. What's the first Broadway show that you saw or listened to that, like, rocked your ass? Made you say yes. <clears throat> Once on this island. Once on this island. Yeah, I was. I went to see it probably in like eighth grade or something. It just blew me away, and I was like, I want to do that. I'd like to be African American, and I want to be in that show. Naturally. My first show in Argentina was Annie. I was Annie. I was N. So you, the first show you performed it. Yes. Can you just give us like a taste of like tomorrow? Mañana te espero, mañana me falta un día para llegar. <laughs> it must sound weird for you, I know. It's fantastic. What are you kidding? This is for the fans. Oh, wow. We went there, didn't we? we did. Okay. <laughs> So before we started this interview, Robin threatened to make out with me. I'm always up for making out, as you know, with a Broadway star, so I don't know. Yeah, um, this is awkward. With tongue? You know what? They always make big promises with big talk, and then when it comes to making out. Well, can we do it in the corner, like without the camera? I don't know. Camera might spice it up. <laughs> this is Susan Blackwell reporting live for Broadway.com. Uh.